five people. ABC 7 News reporter Lisa Amin Galizian has just arrived at the San Mateo Bridge toll plaza where traffic has been stopped. And Lisa, what are you seeing? Um, you know, we actually cannot even get to the toll plaza. We are here at the Clawwater Road exit, which is on 92 westbound. Take a look behind me. You can see that traffic is crawling through. It's because only one lane of traffic is open. The CHP shut down westbound traffic because several miles away on the San Mateo Bridge itself at the decline is that limo that caught fire. Westbound traffic beyond this point is shut down. It has been for about 45 minutes. Rescue crews are still working on the highway, which is why the cars are not allowed to be going in that direction. I did see a CHP car speed down the highway toward the toll plaza just a few minutes ago. So there is a lot of activity happening on the highway, which is why out here live you can see this backup. Drivers, meantime, are asked to use the Dumbarton Bridge to get around at least for the next several hours. Live along Highway 92 tonight, Lisa Amin Galizian, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Lisa. And ABC 7 News reporter Lillian Kim is on the San Mateo County side of the bridge. Lillian, you just spoke with Highway Patrol moments ago. What can you tell us? Um, I need to make one major clarification. Earlier, we spoke to a CHP officer who told us that the people inside were teenagers, that they were either going to or coming back from the prom. That is wrong. The people inside, all of them, all 10, are women and they're believed to be in their 30s. We are on the San Mateo County side of the San Mateo Bridge and the limousine fire happened on the westbound lanes on the decline section of the San Mateo Bridge. The CHP says smoke started coming out of the rear of the limousine. The driver then pulled over and then the vehicle was quickly engulfed in flames. Five of the passengers were able to escape. Five others did not survive. Of the five, four were taken to the hospital. Um, four were transported, uh, three with uh, minor to moderate injuries and smoke inhalation, one with uh, severe burns. Um, and, you know, we have no idea right now where they were going, where they are coming from, um, and, and as to what was going on. Two were transported to Stanford Hospital. Two others were transported to Valley Medical. Of the five people who did not survive, we've been told that people are working on extricating their bodies right now. Live in San Mateo, Lillian Kim, ABC 7 News.